Nintendo has played us all for complete fools. They were raping us up the butt with information like hints about a Ruby Sapphire remake. And then they just drop X and Y on us. For all of you who do not know, Pokemon X and Y have been announced as of January 8th and are <clears throat> are going to be released in October oh, for worldwide. And um, so let's go to the first gym, which is in the back of the trainer school, kind of like the norm. And so basically the two legendaries, Exanius and Yvental, I believe they're pronounced. And I, I saw, hello, I'm Clyde, oh no, Clyde. So if you do not know, there are multiple theories flying around. Like, um, what's it called? That two new types are going to be announced with the look. <gasps> I get to do the voice. You must be a challenger. Welcome to Asperita City Pokemon Gym. I am Sharon, the gym leader. Hmm? Well, maybe I'd better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. We have a challenger. You two, take your places. Oh my god. If you can defeat these two, then I will be your opponent. I am so happy right now. Come at me, bro. I can't, I can't believe it's here. But um, two new types are supposedly going to be announced. The light type and the sound type. Sound will be Yavental. Um, I don't exactly know the reason why. But it kind of makes sense that um, Exanius will be light because, well, light is one of the most a asked for types like in the history of Pokemon. And it's antlers are the colors of the light spectrum so that would make sense but that's just a rumor which reminds me i saw this i saw the most hilarious picture it's a gallon of water and, and it says and the logo says hoenn fanboy tears and it was so funny because the hoenn maps in the background it was so funny i was just like laughing out loud See, and I'm really sorry for the lack of updates. I've been going through midterms, and I, I'm pretty sure my voice changed again. And, yeah, it, it was cracking a lot, so um, tell me if you hear the difference, okay? So, yeah, we're just pretty much plowing through this little child three minutes in. Did we defeat him? You got a level 12 essential... Okay, yeah, we defeated Pedro. See, that's how you know in games when Mexicans are going to be your enemies. Because, like, like Pablo, the leader of Carcino. Uh, so let's switch to Wheat. Actually, no, let's switch to Sni Sni because Wheat's going to be, like, our biggest advantage. And we should keep him under level because he's pretty much going to take this gym. Now I'll show you all the things I learned from Sharon. I have this great Asian impression, too. I can imagine, like, his students, like, mimicking him behind his back. I can so imagine that. So, anyway, uh, so, like, like I said, I really apologize for being so, like, unactive. Um, I noticed nobody did the referral contest. That was supposed to be a win-win situation for me. I was supposed to get more subscribers and you were supposed to get a Tornadus or Thunder. See, that would have been like a win for both of us. So I'm thinking of extending it until... You know what? I'll extend it to the first. Sure, why not? It's not like anybody's gonna, like, do it. <laughs> so the first of February, if you're wondering. So, yeah. I have been ch making some theories for myself about X and Y, and like others, I believe it might be a Europe-based little thingy because, you know, the little thingy McBobbers, like the um, Eiffel Tower, and then there's the Tokyo Tower, which kind of confused me a little. So we're just going to be, so we pretty much almost escaped this without damage at all. Which is nice. 
Oh, and by the way, I also have a lot of Pokemon added to my decks, like Mana, Swablu, Tornadus and Thunderous, um, I believe Drifblum, I mean Loon, and I'll show you the complete set later, because honestly, I'm too, I can't list them all right now. Like, there's not that many more now that I think about it. There's only like two or three more. I've also purchased Pokedex 3D Pro, which has helped me with the rest of my team. Out. Oh, apologize. So, let me get out a potion. How many, I have three, I only have three revives. I must not have, what's it called? I must not have um transferred them all. Okay, with Snivy missing. 3 HP, we're gonna challenge Sharon. Come at me, bruh. Did he really, he's walking like Elisa now. Just as this is your first gym challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. If you can imagine, there are three new gym leaders. The first one, the second one, and the final one. They replace Bryson, Lenora, and Chili Crescent Silen. It, it's a really shame, because I kind of liked Bryson, but he's not out of the game, don't worry. Neither are the Stridon gym leaders. But as far as I know, Lenora is. So first up on his roster is a Pat Rat level 11, with I believe the moves Leer and Tackle and Workup. All of his Pokemon still will have Workup, don't worry. Those are his only moves, I believe. To have chosen that move, I see you'll be a powerful opponent. So let's... Let's just keep vine whipping. We probably won't be able to kill him with Snivy. Jeff, what you doing? Nothing, Daddy, dearest. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll probably put in a weird voice blip. Um, so we're... Oh, that hurt. Just a little. Oh, we took out the pat rat. Yeah, woo. Okay, so I do not think Snivy would be able to do that. I'm sorry. Little. It's a little pup, guys. I'm scared. I am scared of the little pup. I'm almost happy I didn't train to level 13 because no. <laughs> I thought his Pokemon were level 13 or 14. It's like how I used to think that Faulkner had a level 18 Pidgeotto. Darn it, I don't have any fighting attacks. Love this music, by the way. Just throw that out there. Here, let me, let me just counter, because he'll probably be doing a crap ton of damage to me on the next turn. Or not. Oh, wait, actually, no, he would go first. Never mind. So just throw up a counter. Oh, it fit. Oh, I, th oh, sorry. It only lasts long in, um, mystery dungeon. Sigiloof, come and be a man. Well, I guess that means I'm training Rylu off screen because I could have swore he knew, like. What's a weak fighting type move? Um, reversal. I don't know. Something. Something. Like anything. Oh, and I have learned how to do minor things. Like, like speak in. Like I can. Like for that awkward little voice blip. You'll probably be hearing me saying, la, 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 that's, la, that's nothing. Um, yeah. For reasons. So, we're going to make the magical music end. Oh! Sharon. 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 That little trunk of junk. Well, He's dead now. Centipede of doom! Human centipede. Player defeated leader Sharon. This, this is what the real Pokemon battle is. That battle has made me feel really glad you are my first challenger as a gym leader. I give you this in honor of the strength of you and your Pokemon out. And we get the basic badge. Originally the second badge given to you by Lenora. It is now the first step on our journey. Four episodes. As you can see, you probably think you're wrong. You're wrong if you haven't played this game. 
No, you know it's a real shame. I have to help with an after school program because even us have to do ours. I saw this kid playing black. He was in charge stone cave. And so, and Sharon says talking about how he left two years ago on journey with his friends. And he had all level 100s. And I say, hey, is that Pokemon? I used to play that because I didn't want to sound like a total complete nerd. And so the guy says, yeah. And then I said, how did you get your Pokemon at such high level in Chargedome Cave? And he says, I traded them. Hey, sexy How was it? Did your Pokemon battle with the gym leader go? Oh, if it isn't the basic badge. Wow, amazing. And you just set off with your journey and your Pokemon. You definitely have potential as a trainer. I'm sure of it. This is for me. It's a TM for the moon return. If you're not aware, the re um, return does more damage the um, more your Pokemon likes you. Yeah, as she just explained. Still, that's Sharon. Bianca! It's been two years, hasn't it? Oh, what? Oh, wow. W what's up? I thought it'd be a good idea to register each other in the extra Siva. Now, you can communicate with, with your extra Siva. Me too! I registered Presser, Professor Juniper for you too. The iPhone 5 is ringing. Hi there, SHA1. I'm Professor Juniper. Bianca told me you accepted the Pokedex. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, we will all know more about Pokemon and be able to get along with them even better. Hi, Professor Juniper. It's really interesting over here. There are so many Pokemon we couldn't prove were here two years ago. Thank you for going so far for this errand, Bianca. And Sharon, how are you enjoying being a gym leader? Professor Juniper, it's been a long time. I'm glad you're doing so well. The gym leader position is very tough. If I had my usual partners... Oh, Sharon, having battles that come down in the wild will make you a gym leader who deepens the bonds between your challengers and their Pokemon, right? It'll be fine. Sharon's a new gym leader, and I'm an assistant Pokemon professor, and SHJ1 is a new trainer, but we've always had Pokemon by our sides. That's right, Bianca. Our world is a world where we live with Pokemon. Everyone, keep that in mind as you pursue your dreams with your Pokemon. Particularly you, SHA1. The Pokedex may be important, but first enjoy your journey with your Pokemon to your heart's content. So, um, that's about enough for this episode. Next time on Pokemon Black and White 2, um, well, Rylou will be trained, and we'll set off for the second gym battle. <laughs>